Welcome to today's first quiz room. I like it. Do you? Now, today, all the quiz room is all about counting. And especially to do with the number two. So, to help you out and to get you started, I've written a quizzy counting in twos rap. So, would you like to hear it? Because it might help you out later. Brilliant. Now, before we start, because I'm here and you're all the way over there, I'm going to use one of these. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a microphone. So it helps people who sing and whack to make their voices louder. So people like you who are quite far away can still hear them. So, for the rap today, we're going to start by using the microphone. Are you ready? Brilliant. Right, let's start the music. We start at zero, then jump straight to two. But what comes next, you know what to do. Keep adding two, skipping a number each time. And if you get stuck, just remember this rhyme. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We started at zero, then two came next, followed by four as we jumped two steps. Six, eight, ten. We did it all together. Counting in twos is a skill you'll keep forever. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We skip number one and also number three. When counting in two, skipping numbers is the key. Five, seven, nine, we miss them out too. But when counting in twos, it's what you have to do. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We did it, jumping two numbers at a time whilst learning to count, sing and rhyme. We started at two and went right up to ten. But if you need more practice, just start the rap again. That was brilliant. I love rapping and I hope it's really useful for you a bit later on. Now let's head to the second of today's quiz room and see what's going on in there. Come on! Hey, welcome to today's second quiz room. Now, have you heard the song, 10 Green Bottles Hanging on a Wall? Like this. Now, in that song, they sing from ten backwards in ones. But today we're going to count from ten backwards in twos. So are you ready? Brilliant. Ten green bottles hanging on a wall. Ten green bottles hanging on a wall. But if two green bottles should accidentally fall there'll be hang on if we had 10 green bottles hanging on the wall and two fell off how many green bottles are left hanging on the wall yeah of course there'd be eight green bottles still hanging on the wall Eight green bottles hanging on the wall. Eight green bottles hanging on a wall. And if two green bottles should accidentally fall, there'll be. Right, there were eight green bottles left hanging on the wall, and two more fell off. So, how many green bottles are left hanging on the wall? Yeah, there'd be six green bottles left hanging on the wall. 
Six cream bottles hanging on the wall. Six cream bottles hanging on a wall. But if two green bottles should accidentally fall, there'll be. Right, so there were six green bottles left hanging on the wall, and two more fell off. So how many green bottles would be left hanging on the wall? Yeah, there'd be four green bottles left hanging on the wall. Four green bottles hanging on the wall. Four green bottles hanging on the wall. But if two green bottles should accidentally fall, there'll be... Okay, so we had four green bottles left hanging on the wall and two more fell off. So how many green bottles are left hanging on the wall? Yes, of course, there'd be two green bottles left hanging on the wall. Two green bottles hanging on the wall. Two green bottles hanging on a wall. But if two green bottles should accidentally fall, there'll be... Okay, so we had two green bottles left hanging on the wall and two fell off. So how many green bottles would be left hanging on the wall? Of course there'd be no green bottles hanging on the wall. No green bottles hanging on the wall. No green bottles hanging on a wall. And if no green bottles would accidentally fall, there'd be no green bottles hanging on the wall. Hey, welcome to today's third and final quiz room. Now, in our first quiz room today, do you remember what we did? We counted all the way up to 10. We counted in twos. And then in our second quiz room, we counted backwards from 10, also in twos. Now, there's one more thing that we can do with the number two. And we're going to do it in our third and final quiz room today. Now, imagine you have a piece of toast like this. If you cut that piece of toast in half, and split it into two groups. How many pieces of toast have you got in each group? Well, you've got one piece of toast on one side and another piece on the other side. So when we cut anything in half, we end up with two pieces. But what happens if it's more than one thing? that we're splitting in half. Well, let's have a go. Imagine you've got two apples to start with. If we split those two apples into two groups, how many apples would be in each of the groups? Yeah, there'd be one apple in each group. Brilliant. Okay, well let's say we now have some bananas. Yellow bananas. Because they're nice and white. If we had four bananas and we wanted to split four bananas into two groups, how many bananas would we have in each group? Yeah, we would have two bananas in each group. Brilliant! Okay, let's get a bit harder. Let's say we had six lovely, juicy, green pears. If 
we were to split those six green juicy pears into two groups, how many pears would be in each group? Yeah, so we would have three pairs in each group. Brilliant. Okay, getting harder. Imagine that we had eight orange oranges. If we were to split eight oranges into two groups, how many oranges would we have in each group? Yes, we would have four oranges in each group. Brilliant! Right, last one. Imagine we had ten aliens. Ten aliens? Meant to be something healthy. That's, that's not right. Okay, we can work with that. Let's say we had 10 aliens. And we wanted to split 10 aliens into two groups. How many aliens would we have in each group? Yes, we would have five aliens in each group. That's brilliant! Well done! Well, strange as it is, it's sadly time to go! But